Hey everyone and welcome, I'm Matt with Chaparral Motorsports. Check us out at chapmoto.com for all of your riding needs. Today we are going to take a look at the all new 2016 Shoei X14 full face helmet. Let's have a look. So here we have the X14 full face helmet from Shoei. This is part of their X series helmets, which are designed specifically for the track. If you're thinking of using this on the street and taking it to the track every now and then, you might want to reconsider and take a look at their RF series. It's a little more versatile in that sense. So what they've done here is made huge improvements over the X12, which was their previous flagship model helmet. They gave the X14 an all new aerodynamic profile, a new ventilation system, and an all new customizable liner. So we're gonna go through all the important features that way you get a better understanding of what this helmet could do for you. Now they've made all these changes and they didn't change the price which is incredible. So let's start off with sizing. Your range is extra small through double XL and they're also utilizing four exterior shell sizes to optimize the fit, weight and give you more of a compact shell. The breakdown is extra small and small share one size, medium and large have their own sizes and then XL and double X are going to share one size as well. Now this is their AIM Plus shell, which is a proprietary blend of fiberglass, organic fibers, and a special resin, all proprietary to Shoei. And this is going to give you a lightweight, compact, and durable shell. It also is Snell and DOT rated for safety. Now I got into some of the aerodynamics, so we'll take a look at that. You can already see the really aggressive profile or the stance that this helmet has. It's going to work best in the full tuck position. The spoiler is integrated and you can see that it's significantly longer and you have these new flaps in the back. This is to stabilize the helmet at super high speeds and they're also interchangeable. They have a wider one and a smaller one depending on the track or the ride of preference. This is going to adjust the stabilization so really cool there as far as new technology goes. You're also going to see that it has different cuts and lines. It's very streamlined. Definitely a lot of time was spent in the wind tunnel test to really dial this helmet in. You're also going to see these vortex generators on the side of the face shield. This is another aerodynamic property to the helmet because it's going to break up the air on the sides. So it's going to slice through the air really nicely. The ventilation system is all new as well. You can see that you have a new top vent that's multi-position. You have open, halfway, and full open. A new brow vent that's going to channel air directly across the crown of the helmet. And then if we take a look at the chin bar, this is a new feature that they have here. On the bottom, this is a new cheek vent. So it's going to drive air in through the front and then it's going to channel all the way into the cheek pads, which is really cool at keeping the rider nice and comfortable. Also, you have your defroster at the top, which is pretty standard. And then you're going to have six exhaust ports to really pull that air all the way through the helmet to keep the rider cool and focused on the ride. Now the face shield, this is really nice as well. It's really flat and they give you these dials that are going to pull the tear offs really close and tight to the helmet so you get really nice optical clarity. The base plates that are on this helmet are from the RF 1200 so if you already have face shields from that particular helmet they can work with this X14. And the really nice features about those is that it's spring loaded it sucks the shield against the gaskets to give you a really tight seal which is going to keep the helmet quiet and prevent water from making its way inside of the helmet and they revamp the shield lock. So you have the tab and you also have a double lock here so it's super secure. You're also going to see these ridges at the top and bottom of the shield to make it more sturdy. Another feature that you're going to notice in the chin bar area is that these two vents are actually recessed a little more into the helmet so that way when you're in the full tucked position you won't accidentally close your vents. Now let's move on to the inside. You do get a chin skirt, it comes in the box, you can see that I've already installed it and they're also going to give you a spoiler that you can add here to give the helmet even more aerodynamic properties and that chin skirt is going to do a really good job at keeping the helmet quiet. You have emergency cheek pads. You see these red tabs here. Emergency personnel can remove the cheek pads and safely remove the helmet from a downed rider. And I don't recommend that you use those tabs to pull the cheek pads out when you go to clean them. So I'll remove these here. You can see that the neck roll is attached to the cheek pad. It's going to give it a nice seamless fit. It's also going to have a great contour to hug the face very nicely. And you're also going to notice that you have different materials here to help wick away the sweat, keep you nice and cool, and it's also going to be very comfortable against the skin. So that's the cheek pad there. They're also going to give you cutouts so that you can remove these pads or these foam pads rather, and you can insert speakers for a comm system. And now I can take out the comfort liner. This is where the big change was as far as adjustability goes. 
you have these areas on the liner itself that can be replaced, removed, it could be swapped out for a different size to really dial in the fit for your specific head form. So if you notice, every attachment point is done with Velcro. You can remove the sides, swap them out for a different size. Of course, that applies to the other side as well. So if we take these apart, you can start to see the skeleton or the frame of the actual liner itself. Same goes for the front portion of the, the liner, the rear. And you can also adjust the angle of which the helmet sits on your head by four degrees. And that's possible with these adjustments here in the back. You slide this up, you can go up or you can go down, and that's gonna allow better straight line visibility when you're in the full tucked position. That four degrees really makes a big difference, and that's a great performance standpoint about this helmet. On the inside, now that everything is removed, you can see that you have a dual density EPS liner, multiple channels in here to help the air flow through unrestricted, and you're also gonna have removable chin straps that can be washed as well, and of course, a double D-ring retention system for safety. So there it is. That is the all new X14 full face helmet from Shoei. Again, fully customizable, an all new aerodynamic profile, ventilation system. This is definitely top notch. For more info on this and to see all the colors and sizes available, head to the site shapmoto.com and don't forget to subscribe to us on YouTube. Thanks for watching. I'm Matt. We'll see you next time.